In this video, I will show you how to make reusable stencils in Illustrator. Start by clicking on your type tool and type your text. Now you can change your font. You can change this to pretty much any font that you would like. If you have a stencil font, you will notice it will already have the cutouts for the stencil, so you won't have to do any additional work to it. But stencil fonts can be very limited in the look of the font. So if you have something particular in mind, you can pick any font and we can turn it into a stencil font. So I'm picking this Monday Bunday font. And I am going to right click and create outlines. And then I'm gonna right click again and select ungroup. And now you can adjust your letters. Once you have your words looking like you want them to, select everything and go to object and compound path and select make. And that will turn your words into a compound path. Now go to your rectangle tool and make a rectangle around your text. Let's change the color of this just so we can see what we're doing. Now right click and go to arrange and send to back. And that brings your words to the front. Now select both the rectangle and the text and go to your Pathfinder menu. If you do not see this box, go to Window and make sure Pathfinder is checkmarked. And when you click on that, it will open this box for you. So then select minus front and that will cut out your word and make it a stencil. Now the only problem with this is if you are making a reusable stencil, when you cut this out, this center part of the A and the center part of the E is going to be a separate piece. This isn't a big deal if you are making a stencil out of a peel and stick type of vinyl because you will just peel this off and then you can stick the center of that A and the center of that E onto whatever you're using the stencil for. But if you are making a reusable stencil out of like a plastic type material, then you will want to weld the center of your letters to the rest of the box. So to do that, just go to the rectangle tool and make a, just a small rectangle. And then just take that rectangle and position it somewhere where it touches the side of the block and the center of the letter. And now let's duplicate this. You can right click and select copy and then right click again and select paste and then grab that rectangle and let's position it somewhere over the outline of the E. So it looks something like that. And then select everything and go back to your Pathfinder menu and select Unite. And now you have a stencil that you can cut out and your center pieces will be attached to this, making it just one solid piece. Now, when you do your project, you will have to go back in and fill this little space, but that's much easier than trying to fill in the inside of a letter. And that is just a quick way that you can make reusable stencils and non-reusable stencils using Illustrator.